Well, welcome back, baseball fans, to the Fall Carryover League 76, 7, 8, 9. Today we are in the American League Midwest. Um, not much drama in this division, but there's something meaningful about this game between the Kansas City Royals and the Milwaukee Brewers. Let's take a look at the standings here. When we look at the standings, Kansas City Royals um, are currently sitting at 18 and 10. Winners of the first two games against Milwaukee and Kansas, and Kansas City. The other three teams uh, in this division uh, just can't recover from a bad season to qualify for the wild card spot. They're too far back. So these three teams, the White Sox and Twins, will play a meaningless series ending quest for second place. And the thing to be played for, however, Oddly enough, if we scroll up to the top of the American League, we will find that the Red Sox are currently sitting with the number one seed in the American League, 20 and 11, a 645 winning percentage. Now, Kansas City cannot get 20 wins, but if they win this game and go 19 and 10, they and Boston would both be 9 over 500. And Kansas City would have a slightly better winning percentage, and that would be the tiebreaker. Um, and the Royals would have the number one, and uh, the Red Sox would have number two. That's if Kansas City wins this game on the road. Uh, Cleveland um, hasn't quite clinched yet. They probably will, though. The Expos will need to sweep the Tigers to tie the Indians in that division. At a 581 percentage, they can't get a bye anyway. And the A's at 600 can't get a buy either. Um, they have also, same situation, a game and a half ahead of a team that needs a sweep to tie them. So that's today's action. It's can the Kansas City Royals win on the road, sweep the Brewers, and squeak by the Red Sox for that number one seed in the American League. So today, in Milwaukee County Stadium, remember last series we saw the Milwaukee Brewers Pull the upset. And by pulling the upset, I meant that they swept the Twins and knocked the Twins out of the American League Midwest, uh, you know, title race. So the Brewers today are playing for knocking the Royals out of the number one seed. So Kansas City, unfortunately, they have to send their number four starter out to do this bit of business. That's Jim Wright. And for the Brewers, it'll be Jim Colburn. And Colburn used to play for the Kansas City Royals. So there's a little bit of history between these two teams. So let's get started. UL Washington leads off for the Royals, and he walks. Bill Fahey is catching, and he has a weak arm. So Washington will try to steal, and he's safe. Hal McRae, runner up to the batting title. Pop to short. Runner up to this guy, George Brett. 65. Lines the third. And with two outs, it's Amos Otis. 311. Short. They strand the runner. Bobby Mercer. 210. Let's look at Bobby Mercer's card. He's a mercenary. Did you catch that? He just goes to whichever team. Yeah. He usually bounces around in this carrier for league to various teams. Doesn't stay very long. He likes his passport, likes to travel. And he's currently on the Brewers for a year. And he just gave him a solo shot to give him a lead. Paul Mahler, 1-8 single, just beginning his Hall of Fame career. He's 79. Cooper, 1-5. Let's take a look at Cecil Cooper. Yeah, he's right in the middle of his uh, Brewer run after he left the Red Sox. At 1-5, he has a chance to help the Red Sox by knocking out Kansas City. 1-5, two-run shot, and suddenly it's 3 nothing. Before the fans are in their seats. George Scott. This guy's all right. Hasselstein, single 111 line out. Robin Yount, case. Top of two, Willie Akins, 1-7, is a walk. Al Cowens. Al Cowens, let's take a look at his car. Like it'll be his best year. An extra base machine. Homer's doubles and triples here. 3-6, 1-0-18. It is gone. We have a 3-2 game. Pete Lecoq. This guy's all right. 
Frank White, 3-9, grounds to third. And with two outs, Wathen, Kays. All right, 3-2, bottom of two. Early offense in this one. Fahey, left. Lezcano, 3-11, Lezcano center. And with two outs, Tim Johnson, 1-8. There's a slow roller to first base. We'll go to the third. It is UL Washington, 45. Bouncer is a short. The shortstop. Yount, 2 e 28 makes the play. McCray, 2 8 single for the ace stealer. Plus two armor Faye, he's going to take off. And he is going to be out. Barely. And it'll be Brett. 1 8 Brett, base hit. He's also an ace stealer. He is also going to try and steal. He's safe. Runner at second with two outs for Amos Otis. 2 7 is a K. 3 2 Brewers. Mercer. 46 on a one single line out. Molitor 38 short. Cooper 49 single. George Scott case. We go to the fourth. Willie Akins. Willie Mays Akins. If you like that. 4 11 pitcher. He's an E31. Colburn. And he makes the play. Al Cowens. 2 9 single. It'll be Pete Lecoq. Peter Marshall's kid, 2-3, first base, first B. And with two outs, Frank White, 46, second X. This is Molitor, he's a two, and he makes the play. Jim Colburn, settling down here. Protecting a 3-2 lead. Brian Asselstein, 3-6 walks. Yount, 2-6, Yount, and this, let's take a look at Yount's card. He's uh, getting it together. Um, he's not at the height of his powers yet. He's still... Not quite hitting for power yet. And in this card, it's a 288 batting average. B Steeler. But he's got the glove at short in tow, which is nice. This is 77 Yelt. He'll win the MVP in 82. One other time. Uh, so we have a single. Runners on the corners for Fahey. 411. Pitcher E13. And it is a double play, but the run scores. And the Brewers will take that. 4 to 2, Lescano. Center. 4 2. Brewers trying to push the Royals out of the number one seed here. John Wathen. The Red Sox watching intently. 48. Wathen doubles. Tyron UL Washington, 111, short. McCray, 48. Double 1 to 9, doubles. 4 to 3. Brett, time run at second base. Brett, grounds at first. And with two outs, Otis, 57. This guy's all right. Interesting game, four to three. Tim Johnson, two seven, single. Bobby Mercer, one three, hit by pitch, two on. For Molitor, two five, short B, not an A. So you got runs in the corners. They're gonna bring it up for hold for Cooper. Sack fly to right field. All set up by the, uh, yeah, there you go. And it's a 5-3 game. Brewers are manufacturing runs. With two outs, Mahler's going to try and steal. And he steals second base. And it'll be Scott. 110. Scott singles to center field. Molitor is going to try and score. 17 against the cannon of, of Otis. And he does. Molitor legs it out. Hasselstein, 410, third X. Brett is a 2 26 And it's a 6-3 game. Brewers came to play. Came to be spoiler. Aikens in the sixth. 1-7's a walk. Cowens, 37, center. Lecoq, 1-6, right. Frank White, 2-5, lines a second. Bottom of the sixth. 6-3 Six game. Yount, 210, single one to 13, base hit. Fahey, 33, pumps the first. Lescano, 68, triple one, single dot dot, runners on the corners, they gotta bring it up for Tim Johnson. And it's a base hit, cause you brought the infield up. Oh, that's a disaster right there. Jim Wright's a starter seven, and it doesn't look like the number one seed is in the cards for the Royals here. Bobby Mercer, 
Pops the third, that's a big out. And Mahler with two outs, rolls a second. So it's still within range, 7-3. Colburn, pitching his heart out. Roughed up early and a little bit. Settle down, Waffen, 3-10 center. UL Washington, 67 is a walk. McCray, 68 is a single off of the Colburn card, and I think we've seen enough here as he starts to run out of gas in the seventh, and Brett's coming in, and then Aikens comes up in two batters, so we'll go to the lefty, Jerry Augustine. Comes trotting out of the Brewer bullpen. The Brewers have deep starting pitching, not much relieving, so they had to put Jerry Augustine and Pete Vujovic in the bullpen because they have Haas, Colburn, Slayton, Caldwell in rotation. So Augustine in the seventh with runners at first and third, and George Brett. They are going to play back for Brett. The pitch, 1-8. Let's take a look at Brett Scard. He won the batting title in 1976. One point better than his teammate, Hal McRae. 333 to 332. This is a clean single in the left field. Washington, down four. Does not want to get thrown out of the plate. It's one out. So they're going to let Amos Otis bat with the bases loaded. A tie run. A grand slam ties this thing. The pitch to Amos Otis. 44. He did a 6-4. 4-4. Center X. Asselstein's a 3-E-12 in center field, and it's a fly ball A. Everybody moves up. It's not a big deal. Second and third, two outs, and it's Aikens. And um, he's not that bad against lefties, really. Um, they're going to let him bat. He's got power, and Augustine gives up homers to lefties. So Aikens will bat versus the lefty, and the pitch, 6-10. Catcher's card. This could be a pass ball that scores a run on Fahey, and it is, so that's something to note. One of those PB plus foul out, pass ball plus foul outs, scores the runner who moved up to third on the fly ball A. So a guy was on second, he got fly ball A'd to third base and pass balled to score. That's an unearned run and it's 7-5. The Brewers can't make anything easy, can they? But it is the seventh inning stretch and we're listening to Big Star, uh, number one record, Radio City, Chris Bell, Alex Shelton, all that stuff. There you go. Um, Jim Wright will leave after six. And the Royals will bring in Ken Holtzman in the seventh. Um, there you go. Holtzman in the seventh. Cooper. Leads it off, 49, second. George Scott, 63, first X. Aikens, uh, 46 at first, it's base hit. All right, Asselstein will leave, and they'll go with Gorman Thomas in center field. And they're gonna hook Holtzman. They are try still trying to play competitively to win this thing, now only down two runs. And Thomas kills lefties is bad against righties in this particular year. So, Justy comes out of the pen in the seventh to face Gorman Thomas with a runner at first and one out. Gorman Thomas for C. Runner at second, two outs. Robin Yount, who has two for three today. Scored a run, struck out. 63 off Justy. Pitcher X is an E0. Need some help here, and they don't get it. So, it's a tight 7-5 game in the 8th inning. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you could bring in Charlie Moore to catch for Fahey. Anticipating that the Royals might try and steal a base or two with their speedy guys. And yeah, that's about it as far as the changes go. Augustine. It'll be Cowens and then Lecoq. Al Cowens. 2-7 is a double. I saw his card earlier with all those extra base hits. Um, Pete Lecoq, again, he's not that bad against lefties. I know they got three righties on the bench. I just don't want to invite a pitching change if I don't have to. I'd rather face Augustine than Fugovic or McClure. So Lecoq's going to bat as the tie run. Doesn't have power, but has plenty of hits on his card. 
Helicock, 4-4, four, four, is short X. This is Yao, a 2-E-28, and he makes the play. Runner holds. Frank White, a tie run, 2-6, grounds a third, and with two outs, the runner at second, it's John Waffen. Now, in this case... I think they're going to pull Augustine here, because Waffen's much better against lefties and righties. So, inning and a third for Augustine. Vukovic comes on in the eighth to face the tie run. Take a look at Vukovic's card. John Waffen. Now let's take a look at Waffen's card, too, as the tie run. Here we go. Waffen, the pitch, tie run at the plate. 57 is a K off of Vukovic. We go to the bottom of the eighth. 7 5. Justy's still in there. Charlie Moore. 45, center. Lescano. 1 8 single. Tim Johnson, 47, is a K. And with two outs, it's Bobby Mercer. 58, Mercer, short X, but he's a 3E48. You all watching is not very good. But he made the play. Somehow he made the play there. So no insurance. Two run game in the ninth. Pete Vukovic, top of the lineup. McCray, excuse me, UO Washington, Hal McCray, George Brett. And Bob McClure is warming. McClure will most certainly pitch to Brett in this situation. So let's see what we got here. UL Washington leads off the ninth. 32, third. Hal McCray, 35. Let's take a look at McCray's card. We didn't look at it yet. Yep, runner up in the batting to Brett. He'll get a walk here. And with a two-run lead, he saunters down to second base. Brett is your tie run. Brett hit all of seven home runs in 695 plate appearances, but he's got power both ways. And I think it's time to bring the closer in. McClure doesn't give up any homers on his own card, so Bob McClure will come on in. In the ninth inning, boy, the Brewers, I tell you, they're playing this like... They played the Twins tight. Maybe it's maybe it's they like playing on YouTube or something. So Bob McClure comes in to face Brett in the ninth inning. George Brett is the tie run in a 7-5 game. McCray's at second base. The pitch to Brett, 1-3, rolls to the pitcher. Runner holds, two outs. Amos Otis, the tie run. Let's look at Otis before he swings. This could be for the number one seed in the American League. The pitch to Amos Otis, 38. No, it's a base hit. It keeps going. It's a base hit to left field. McCray, no sense running him. His run's meaningless. And now you got to hold Otis at first, as he is the tie run. And you've got Willie Akins, who has a bunch of doubles on his card. You have to think that if you... Yeah. Hmm, how do you want to handle this? This is very interesting. They wouldn't hook McClure for Tom Murphy. That's not in their DNA. Too many walks which aren't going to help in this situation. So Aikens will be pinch hit for. And the guy doing the pinch hitting will be Joe Zeb. Let's take a look at Zeb's card because we need a hits here. Walks aren't going to help. So Joe Zeb will bat for McClure in the ninth with runners on the corners. Speed at first base. A plus will also uh, advance the runner. Joe Zeb, the pitch. 34 is a grounder to short. And it wouldn't have mattered who rolled that. And the game is over. The Brewers did it. They did it again. They stifled a division rival in their pursuit of postseason excellence. <laughs> uh, meaning that the Royals do not get the number one seed. Boston officially clinches that then. Because all the first place teams are... Almost finished all their series. McClure, nice little save there. Give up the hit. Vukovic, give up a walk and a K. And Augustine came in, faced Brett, give up a hit. Give up two hits. An unearned run off a pass ball. Colburn gets the win. Seven hits, five runs. Four are earned, four walks, two strikeouts. Justine inning in two thirds. Give up a hit and a K. Bolson give up a hit. And Jim Wright, this was not up to what needed to be done. Give up 10 hits, seven runs, and six innings. 
Yeah, you know, you know, it's just a, yeah. If it was a playoff game, you know, maybe it would have been handled differently. But 1019, 0108, 712, 510. Uh, Kansas City still has some work to do to get the number two seed now. They need to win another baseball game as not to fall to a number three seed. 1019-0108-712-510-5323. All right, so game three in the books. Home team has won every game in this series so far. Let's see what we got for the standings now. The uh, Brewers aren't in competition for the Commissioner Award. They have not really used their bullpen enough to accumulate enough innings pitched. So Toronto is still in the driver's seat for that. Brewers improved to 11 and 15, however. They only have 384 commissioner points. That's not a lot at all. And Kansas City, 18 and 11, hitting 301 with a 407 ERA. When we look at the standings now, you see that Kansas City is 18 and 11. Boston's 20 and 11, and Kansas City cannot win two more games in the series since they're already up two games to one. Now, what's interesting though is if the Brewers win the next two games and put the Royals at 18 and 13, it would put them into the wild card round, <laughs> and the Oakland A's would move into the two spot. Matter of fact, at 18 and 13, you also have Cleveland at 18 and 13. So Kansas City's got some business to take care of with the Milwaukee Brewers. The Brewers, <laughs> they ruined the twin season by sweeping them when they were 10 and 10. And they have a chance to ruin, keep ruining the Royal season as well. So that's it today from the American League Midwest. Hope you enjoy it. We'll see you next time.